and we'll have to keep eyes on all of the handles across both the virtual stadium and in the arena in Prague. Are we ready to rock and roll? Attention and go. And all of these athletes will get underway in these categories, 19 through 20, 21 to 22. And of course, the lightweights as well. But uh, here we go. Off the mark. I, I'm trying to see at the moment, Natasha, who is out at the front of this field. It's a tough one. I think maybe looking down to some of the Czech athletes there, um, I thought it was Eliska there in second place. And look at these great images we've got coming in from all around the world. We do Farida Al Said on your monitor here, looking to be doing this with her teammate. We bear, as we mentioned earlier, what a huge cheering squad she has there. She looks very long and strong competing in her uniform. We'll have to see how things shake out in her race. We do have a couple leaders here. So we have Doris Meinbeck for the women's 1920. We have Marie Dolazova uh, from Czechia, so a hometown favorite as well in the arena. Here we can see Alexandra Foster also looking very strong. She is in fourth place right now, third place, excuse me, in her race, holding a 142. And here we go, we have some of our athletes from Czechia. It's great to see that hometown representation that we have here. Look at these stroke rates around, you know, 30, 32. And then from Germany, Paula Heinen up around a 34. Uh, so all very competitive times, it looks like so far as they end out this first 500 meters. Yeah, Doris Meinbeck really blasting out the gates here, starting to drift up on those split times, which is that number you can see on the right-hand side of the leaderboard that starts with a one colon. So that 144, that's the time it takes to complete 500 meters in. So the higher the number, the slower the time. We want to see nice low numbers there. But she's up there, um, if you look at the graphics, about a boat length ahead, if not a bit more than the rest of this field. Uh, the Estonian, also an on-water athlete, and uh, looking to uh, add to her three other World Indoor Championship titles. She's a 28-time <laughs> Estonian champion as well. Um, so no surprises to see her out in front. Uh, but it's uh, Alexandra Furster in the other category that we uh, we predicted would be well up there uh, in that women's 21 to 22 category. And she's actually pushing the splits even lower 142s that's so impressive moving into the second 500 meters we're well through it now and hot on her tails is uh marie dolet zalova of the of czechia uh, only six meters back she's keeping really good tabs here with uh, the with the german athlete um and could we see a race on our hands here into the sprinting stages but this gap um that we've got in the women's 19 to 20 from doris meinbeck back is quite astounding jumping now to the lightweight women uh, a much closer race than we've got in the other two categories look at this here between parente and padra zelova of czechia just three meters separating these two natasha it looks like a really tight race right now bruna parente looking very collected really strong finishes here which i think is a telltale sign that she's trying to bring the power up through this thousand meter calling a bit of a power 10 maybe trying to bring the rate up a little bit and you'll see her split just went down from a 151 to a 150 she knows she's just about in the second half of this race it looks like her coach behind her cheering her on and uh we have someone in front of her looking more nervous than she is alexandra foster who has uh, a commanding lead right now of about 20 meters she is also rowing very long she looks quite calm remember to get under that seven minute mark they need a, a split under 145 so this 142 is looking very promising um we have dola uh dola zalova here from czechia who is on the floor and she's at a 148 so if she does bring it down soon she can also hope to get near that seven minute marker 
Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's going to be well through the glass ceiling of seven minutes here for Alexandra Furster. It's just a question uh, of uh, how far under and if she's going to keep it at about a 142 average. We're looking at a time here of 6.48. We're even on track to go sub 6.50, which would be gobsmacking. So let's keep eyes on that. And um, we've also got this impressive performance from Doris Meinbeck, who we've talked about in that slightly younger category, the 19 to 20 uh, an absolutely enormous margin, 42 metres over the Swedish athlete in silver medal position, Amanda Elizabeth Jobs. Uh, but both pulling similar splits now. Maybe mine back just starting uh, to waver here going into the final 500 metres. But I think the gap too great here for the Swede to close down, Natasha. I think so. And I've, I've been in that position. Maybe she went out a little bit too hard. Maybe she was a little bit too optimistic. But she's just waiting to see that 500 meter marker. Once she passes that third 500, we call it, she knows she can make it through to the end. You can see the breakdown of races here. We also have some very tight races in the middle. So Paula Heinen, Aliska Sejoba, Ariel Nuzbaum, they're all within about three, four meters of one another. So we'll start to see them sprint. They're all around a 148, 149, and it's whoever can bring it down in their last 500 meter for that women's 1920 race. There really is a race in the middle, and that third place is not determined at all at this time. Down in those red boats, we have the women's 21, 22 category. Um, Alexandra Foster, as you say, a 142 time, so well below that seven minute marker. But we also have Mazarine Guibert, who we see on our screen right now, holding a 146. She is really looking at that seven minute time and her cheering squad is starting to go right now. They really wanna carry her through the last 250 meters of the race. Yeah, the podium places here with plenty of support. And we've got a lot of them on our screen here. Doris Meinbeck in the top big picture in the stadium in Prague, going for the gold almost certainly into the last 100 metres or so for her. She's pulling a, a split of 141s, the grimace on her face, huge. But I think she's almost certain for a blistering time. Alexandra Foster will finish there 142.1, a time of six. 48.4 in that women's 21 to 22 category. She just keeps getting better. Let's see what mine back records. Yes, sub seven, 657.7 to win out in the women's 19 to 20 category. A gold medal for her to add to her collection of both national and world titles. Uh, a great round of applause there for Mazarin Guibert of uh, Belgium.